Hello, welcome to uh, another playthrough of Kerbal Space Program. Err, I sort of dive right in because I'm just watching this as I go. So, I'm playing Kerbal Space Program and I'm doing historical sort of missions. So, here you can see I'm, I've started to build already because I was getting fed up because it kept crashing and I finally fixed it so I just dived right in. I'm building Sputnik 1 and you know, as you can see I'm, I'm whizzing ahead because I built this a few times already. Uh, so it's basically the Sputnik probe top. It's a battery pack. It's an RCS thruster fuel pod. No, I've got that wrong way around, I think. I'm about to take it apart. But then you've got the quad RCS thrusters and a uh, segmentation brake with an exp the explosive on it. Got that the wrong way around at some point in the air. Separator first, and then that's going to be my sort of second stage there so I'm going to stick a fuel tank on it and a thruster and then I'm going to whack some radial separators on I've got the real word for them I'm going to call them separators some much uh, much smaller fuel tanks for the um, to get out of the atmosphere and then four thrusters like that and to trim it down some aerodynamics there you go lovely and to beautify it, and you'll see why I get this a little bit wrong later on. To beautify it, I'm going to stick a a chatterer, which is a, a mod, which sort of adds, um, as you expect, sort of speech to it, and that's just to give it a bit more life. Um, I'm sort of editing this a little bit weird. Um, you probably hear the music fade in and out. I'm just playing around with different editing software, and I'm messing it up badly. So, so apologies for that. We now. Uh, better for the next one. So yeah, that's uh, that's what the real Sputnik looked like. Um, not dissimilar, not too too like, but here we are for the launch. So we're sending it to orbit. We're going to put our safety on. We're going to thrust it right up, and we're going to launch this bad boy. Oh, first we're going to change the separation a little bit just to save us some space. There she blows. Right, so not too worried about this bit. Uh, we've got a little bit of turn, that's because of the drag probably from the uh, from the chatter, I imagine, because that's a little bit one sided. That's fine. Um, we're just going to burn all the way straight up, get as high as possible, ranging for about 10,000 miles, or meters, I imagine that is, <laughs> not miles, 10,000 meters. And as you see, the atmosphere is starting to drop as we separate and instantly launch. Now we're going to keep it on course until we get that 10,000 meters and then we're going to start a gravity turn and this is where the map screen comes in very handy because things start to happen very quickly here. So we're starting to turn to the orbiter mark and we're waiting for that apoapsis to hit about 100,000 meters and that will get us high enough. As you'll be able to see in a bit, I, I, I struggle with this because it's so fiddly, especially when you've got quite you know, very few thrusters and it's happening so quick, it just bursts. So I start to aim towards the horizon at about 60,000 meters, but it still goes up. So you want to do a prograde burst, so you want to sort of head back towards the Earth or Kerbin <laughs> if, you're, if you're playing strictly. But we're, we're launching Sputnik, so um, I suppose this is, this is the Earth for this. As you see, I start to drop a little bit, and I have a little panic, so I aim back towards the horizon, and we really hammer it now to try and get that parapsis to appear. The parapsis is around 100,000 meters, so that's not too bad. Let's look how quick that just goes. And we're out of fuel. Oh shit, you were thinking, because that's what I always thought, and I just strap more and more fuel to it, which just <laughs> ruins the weight. But if you press H, you can do a mono burst, which is using your uh, your RCS thrusters, which are your maneuverability thrusters, and they fire back to give you that extra bit of a um, bit of a burst. Now, as you can see, the apoapsis has hit sort of 138,000, I think. I'm sort of looking at a very small, one. but basically it goes really high. And for Sputnik, we want it to be about 100,000 meters. And we wanted a pretty nice, you know, symmetrical orbit. 
and what happens usually with my orbits is you get one massive spike and then the other one comes in brushing Kirby's atmosphere as close as possible. So for this one I think we're going to add a manoeuvre. We're just going to check our, our fuel which you can do by hovering over resources and see look how high we've gone with us. We've gone too far basically. But we've got enough fuel so quite a new feature I found because I've just come back to Kerbin actually I've been away for quite a long time and I thought I'd um, reinstall it since it was back on Steam and just have a mess around and this is it's been so much fun but as you can see our perhaps has disappeared which is good that means we've got a full circle at least but we're too far in the atmosphere that side so we need to add a manoeuvre what I like to do is add it about three meters away three minutes away so that gives me time to play around before I hit it so I'm going to toggle with the, uh, have a bit of a toggle at the play, see what I can do. So basically I'm just trying to balance it out a little bit. Playing around, just trying to squeeze that ring a little bit more. Get a little bit closer. And just, just balance it out. I don't think I'm going to get it perfect, but I can get it sort of split the difference. See that one's 200,000, the one's 80. So let's just uh, minimise the 200 one a bit. Shrink it in, 190, 130, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, let's, let's do that. So now on the uh, on your orb, you'll find that there's a blue marker, that's your manoeuvre marker, and that's what you're going to use to get you back on course, and see that's me burning my uh, RC5, and basically what it wants me to do is head straight back towards Kerbin really pro grade thrust so we tying in that circle and making the perhaps it's bigger and that's how you do that and here I've, I've got my finger firmly on the H and back into the map screen of course because this is where we're doing a lot of our information the good thing about Kerbal Space Program is that it's such a beautiful game but you'll spend most of it in the map screen because it's just the only way to do it really it's just and you can't really trust just sight. You have to really go into the maths of it and um, really work out what you're doing. As you see the time at the bottom, it thinks I have no fuel, which is true. I haven't got any liquid fuel left. So it, it's told me that it's going to take like 50 minutes of burn to manage this maneuver. But because I've got my mono, those minutes are just ticking away because it's fine really. Uh, and I think I think I've got enough. So let's just uh, let's just watch that with the eerie beep of Sputnik. The chatter, um, sorry, I just ruined this. The chatter of mod is really good for like probes and stuff. It really gives a bit more atmosphere to the to what's happening, especially with Sputnik. Such an interesting idea. I have a bit of information on Sputnik to be honest. So Sputnik was the first man-made object to go into orbit. I think it was the one with Leica, Leica the dog aboard. It was launched in 1957 by the uh, by the USSR and it really kicked the Americans ass in the space program because you know, it was the first and the, um, the beep. Oh yeah, that was good timing the beep not so good timing that time the beep could be heard from um, just amateur radios all around the world so to that was a real kick in the teeth for the Americans so as you can see I just ran out of mono but luckily it was timed perfectly as I'm in a beautiful orbit, separate to see what that did to my um, perhaps this because I forgot I put the um, the launch on there, and there she is, Sputnik, Sputnik One, the world's first man-made object to uh, enter orbit. So many years ago as well. It's, it's ridiculous how long how long ago that was. 1957. As you can see, my. Uh, <laughs> My attempts to make it look more Sputnik-esque uh, were a bit of a failure. 
I'll whack a picture in as well of, of the actual Sputnik just so you can see how how much I failed and that's proof of perfect orbit I'd, I guess I've done this a few times I've had so much fun building it though that um, I've gone back to sort of start this series because it's, it's sort of a really good tutorial of how to do things um, I might I mean this has been a quick one I might go a bit faster next I might, I might do it at the same speed next time or if you want to see it a bit slower and I'll talk you through each each stage and and how I did things um, I am following a wiki <laughs> so so don't think I'm some sort of curveball genius but I think it's interesting to see how things work as well uh, that was supposed to be an epic thing but it looks too dark doesn't it really you can't really see what's going on important thing to note don't end flight <laughs> because then it just comes back down but there it is and that will remain there forever now until I finish this tutorial series so thanks for watching uh, leave a like and I'll see you next time bye bye